Jesse Duval were talking about hunting and fishing opportunities on national wildlife refuges. And I wanted to talk to you about the relationship that sportsmen and environmental groups have here in the state and talking with different people about this particular proposal that we're talking on, about on the show this week. A lot of environmental groups and conservationists express support for this proposal as well, which I feel like isn't necessarily unusual, but I was wondering if you could talk about that relationship between environmental groups and sportsmen here in New Mexico, which feels sort of unique. I'm very, very privileged to work in a community of conservationists in New Mexico that is very diverse. Uh, we've got hunting um, organizations that are working very closely together with organizations that, that engage in other non-consumptive uses, organizations like the Sierra Club and Audubon and so on and so forth. And what we've what we've come to realize in New Mexico is that what we have in common is so much more than what we might not agree on when it comes to the minor details. The reality is we all love wildlife. We all love natural places. Uh, we all love spending time in nature. And there historically had been this idea that there was hunters against environmentalists. The reality though is if you're a passionate hunter and that's a activity that you wanna see continue into the future, it's my suggestion that you should be an environmentalist. Uh, without a healthy environment, without healthy ecosystems and healthy habitat, wildlife wouldn't exist. And without the existence of wildlife, obviously you don't have any hunting opportunity. And in New Mexico, more than most other places I've witnessed, I think the consumptive and non-consumptive user groups have really come together in a very powerful way. And we work hard to support each other's efforts in conserving these resources that belong to all of us. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Laura.